Welcome everybody to Hamburg Film Festival. We're here with the director of Intregalde, Radu Montean. Welcome, Radu. Hi. I have some questions for you. You have been developing this idea and this script for a while and I would like you to tell us about the process, how it went from an idea to the script to how it changed during the shooting. Sure. So um, I think I, I, I first uh, heard about these humanitarian expeditions about 10 years ago. Uh, and I thought it's a good starting point for a film about uh, generosity, a film where you question the resorts, the motives, all, all about uh, this, uh, this concept. Uh, so this uh, intrigued me a lot. And I, start, I, I went in, in two of these expeditions in 2012, I think the first one, and then in 2015, uh, with my co-writers, uh, Alex Bacu and Razvan Radulescu. So we, we decided to, uh, to dig a little bit in the, in, in the story. Uh, first time af after the first, uh, the first expedition, we, we tried to, to, uh, uh, to write a script. But we didn't succeed. We didn't uh, have, uh, I mean, we, we couldn't find the right uh, path, if you want, to the, to the story. But after the second one, after, uh, after the one in 2015, we finally found out uh, what was missing in the first place. And we did finish the script. Uh, and then we waited a little bit uh, because we, we had some other projects in, uh, uh, in, in production. And we uh, finally, we, we, we managed to, to have the, the film financed in uh, 2020. So one year and uh, three months ago, I think. And we decided to, to work very fast. It was of course the, the pandemic, uh, but this is actually the, the film you can, uh, you can shoot easily in the pandemic because you, you go out there in the mountains. It's like a, it's like a safety bubble. Everybody was tested. Uh, people out there are living uh, in isolation, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it it actually it didn't bother us too much. It was the perfect place to be in a in a time like that. Uh, and we did shoot the film in uh, November and December last year. It was really quick, and we were lucky to find the right uh, non-professional actors because I I knew that for some parts we would need. Uh, to find non-professional actors and we did we were very lucky in this respect the weather was also not very harsh on uh, on us so we we managed to to finish the narrative structure is somehow uncommon as if the film would change focus while it develops yeah i, I think uh, i think you're right from from one point on uh, I mean, uh, we, we knew that uh, Maria, the main character, would be like, uh, uh, like the one telling the story, like the one we, we, we are following throughout the film. But towards the end, the focus is changing a little bit uh, towards the, uh, the old guy, the, uh, the guy who's, who's being uh, Kente, who's being rescued uh, from the, the old sawmill. Uh, because we, we, we thought that it's, it's important to, to create a little bit of empathy towards the, this character, just to feel that he's not like a human carcass, he's, not a, uh, uh, he's a person, he's a human being, he has his uh, feelings, his, uh, uh, the past, his uh, uh, memories about uh, uh, people. So uh, we thought that it's important to, to, to move a little bit in, in, in his direction and, and finish that the film uh, with with him in you know in a way, uh, but it's uh, you're right. I mean the uh, in in this film the, the nature is also quite important. It, it's it's uh, it's working like like a like a character. It's uh, um, first uh, it's it's very peaceful and it's uh, uh, beautiful, of course, amazing. And then it uh, becomes a little bit terrifying. It's like the um, the personifying the, the fear of unknown for the, the, the main characters. So the, yeah, the, the, the structure that the film is changing uh, a little bit to, uh, towards the end. I was curious to know if this structure of how it shifts 
from from the the humanitarians to Kente is something that you found and developed throughout the shooting or if it's something that was scripted and then you there found uh, ways to do it this was uh, this was scripted this was in in the script of course uh, the structure was there uh, the uh, the way the character was the Kente's character was uh, was built was was in the script, but of course uh, at the, um, when we we found the guy when we found Luca Sabin the guy who who played Kente, uh, we were lucky to to find the guy who who had exactly the same job as the the main character. So uh, he had a lot of stories that we inserted in the uh, in the film. So. Uh, his character, uh, I think, uh, became uh, richer. Um, he uh, he became more alive, uh, with uh, with with more stuff to 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 tell about himself. So you could uh, actually relate to to him, to his past, to the way he he felt about uh, about people. So this was really helpful. Because of course you cannot write this kind of things out of your imagination. You you have to to rely on on uh, on on these experiences and the the way he's he's talking. He's I mean that that was the reason I I I, I told you from the beginning that I I, I didn't want a, an actor to to play the, mm -hmm. the the part because you of course you it's uh, it's easier if you know romanian but uh, the, the the way he speaks is really really special it's from it's from that place you you cannot uh, uh imitate this you uh, you have to be uh, a man from from that area was it really different working with actors and non actors well pff, yeah it's, it's completely different of course the guy didn't see a uh, a camera until the first day of the shooting but it's it's interesting as well because you uh, you have to uh, to be very flexible and uh, uh, because he's I mean he didn't improvise we 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 did insert his his stories but we uh, we rehearsed them we I I wrote them I inserted in in the script and I give every 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 morning I I surprised in a way the uh, the other actors uh, with the new bits of uh, of dialogue. Uh, but uh, we rehearsed. Uh, he was better and better every 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 day. He understood exactly what what we wanted from him. I knew that we, I I to to play a, a, a senile old man. We need a really smart guy, uh, really in his mind. Uh, so and very fit, of course. So. Um, uh, Luca Sabin was that uh, was that guy. We, we shot in really long uh, uh, shots, long takes. So uh, we, we he had a, a small earpiece in in his uh, sane ear because he only could could uh, hear with one ear. <laughs> but in in that ear he had a small earpiece, and I, we communicate throughout the uh, the the shoot. This is not easy. I mean, uh, it's not easy to. To, to hear a line and while you are saying another one uh, you had to also to to be uh, to be very very focused and understand what what's happening and he did that he became a, an, a semi-professional actor because after each shot we we went to the the video system and we we talked about uh, the scene with the, together with the other actors so uh, uh, little by little he he understood the process Maria seems to cross some of the boundaries set with the people from the place. Can you tell us about this? Well, of course, it's a it's a little bit of a clash of a, a cultural clash between the the people from the the city and the uh, and the ones from the the, the village. Uh, Maria, uh, maybe she's more sensitive to to these problems, but I I really noticed that when I was in these humanitarian expeditions. People were were more interested about um, I don't know uh, in 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 the superficial uh, part of the humanitarian business, if you want, uh, just to to deliver things, not to know too much about the people. This was uh, what frustrated me when I was in in these expeditions, was that uh, we didn't 
get to know the people, know exactly what they wanted. Uh, we just delivered the, the small, uh, 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 I don't know, food packages and everything and then go make some pictures and uh, so we can put it on, on the social media and, and that was it. Uh, so it was this superficial level of communication between uh, those two parties, if you want. This is another thing that I, 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 I wanted to, to tackle in the film. And of course, the, the way uh, those three characters are, are, um, are seeing the, uh, the expedition and uh, the, the people from the village is different. Maria, she's not a, uh, she's not a hero. Uh, she, she can even be a little bit... Uh, selfish when when she left the uh, her friend uh, uh, to stay alone in the forest just to go to to search for the old guy she's in a way she wants to live up to her uh, moral standards so what about the personal stories of the characters because although they appear short they seem to tell a lot about them i i don't intend to judge my my characters but uh, i try to in a way to 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 play the uh, the defense lawyer for each each of them uh, to try to to find what motivates them and to uh, to uh, be careful of these nuances because it's not uh, even even with this cultural clash uh, it's uh, not just bad or good people it's people who who had their own their own problems and their own motives for their actions and I. I try to to nuance this to um, to go a little bit in in the depth of the uh, the relation between the between the characters. Um, we discussed with the the co-writers uh, to to make the characters characterized by by themselves in a way. We don't know much about their biography. Uh, you are maybe when you're watching the film, you're a little bit curious about uh, about them, but we're not we're not. Uh, telling too, too much about the uh, about them. You also play in the film, and you're the only one who has a direct moral question. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, this is the second time that I I decided to to act in the movie. I also acted in Alice T, the, the previous film that I made. Uh, I I find uh, interesting the, the the experience, and I I found. Uh, uh, in a way funny and ironic to, to play the character that is uh, organizing things and it's in a way in charge of the, of the expedition and it's not uh, uh, delivering, he's not coming in the rescue of, of his, uh, uh, his friends. Uh, but yeah, the, I know what you mean. Uh, the, the, the line that was uh, in, in the beginning of the film, that was... Uh, that was the thing I heard when I was in the uh, uh, in, in this human. Can I? You want me to move because of the yes, light? Yes, please. Okay. okay. So this is a, a story that I heard uh, in one of these expeditions. Uh, a, a guy was very proud of uh, of of being the first Santa Claus in the life of a, a nine-year-old girl. Uh, and he was really uh, proud. And I asked him, yeah, but the next year, next year, the girl will, uh, will wait for the Santa Claus. And Santa Claus will not be there. So uh, you, I think it's important. I, I, I'm not saying that this, these expeditions are not useful, but I think it's important to, to think a little bit of, of, uh, of, of your, about your motives, to, to ask yourself, to question yourself. Is it for a little bit for you? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit for your ego. This is actually done. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is the one of the ideas that I, I wanted to to the question and I wanted to raise in the film. Thank you so much, Radu. It was really nice talking to you. Thank Pleasant you for uh, for inviting uh, the second time the film in a uh, uh, film of mine in in your festival. It was a really nice experience last time.